for many years we've always focused on the cells themselves, on the cancer cells and how they lead to progression from MGUS to myeloma. Now we're trying to ask the question, what else is playing a role in that progression? Is the tumor microenvironment, especially the immune microenvironment, playing a role in this? So we've started to look or dissect the whole microenvironment, looking at the immune cells and their role in progression, but also look at other cells, the stromal cells, osteoclasts, osteoblasts, and also look at, in general, how those cells interact with the cancer cells, leading to the progression from MGUS to smoldering myeloma to active disease. We know now that immunotherapy is playing a big role in many cancers, and the question will be, can we use it early on to prevent progression in patients with smoldering disease?